Japanese country flag for me, but I'm repping Canada today. That's right. In Vancouver. In sunny Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh. They call it the City of Angels, Vish. That's right. And we are going to be They don't call it that. That's Los Angeles. <laughs> That's Los Why Angeles. didn't you correct me? <laughs> See, that was the first test I throw your way, Vish. That's the test? And you, you disappoint. How are you going to put this it on me? This is why we're never... Well, That's I'm, why I'm we're into winner's finals right winners now. Winner's finals right I, now. I was just trying to yes in. You're right. You're trying to yes in. You're trying to yes in. They do say you got to yes in. It's a competitor. You got to yes in. Listen, we're here. We're here now. The crowd can't hear me anymore. And listen, this is... So what do you think about this? I think... Uh, whoa. Sorry, I just noticed Mogul, Mogul, Moik's moves, MXM. That's right. Just the X stands for nothing. <laughs> it's just cool. That's we just like the letter X because it's a cool letter. That's the that's the moves part. Of <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Ooh. So, yeah, I think, okay, so you're coming in, you're like, okay, I don't watch that much Super Smash Brothers Melee, you know, whatever. Um, maybe I've been out of the game for a little while. Here's the, here's the way this matchup basically works. Yoshi can kill Marth, you know, at decently early percents, can, can get these crazy combos. Marth for sure is an edge of the neutral game, but I would say that Marth, um, even though Marth is considered the better character, Marth has to kind of work for the kills, right? Because yeah, definitely. You've got to get Yoshi at like 200% of the lot of time. You know, 189 right there, and how do you get the kill? You just have to hit Yoshi with a strong move, you're not going to get a crazy combo or a crazy setup. I think that's just Marth in a nutshell versus the non-fast fallers, right? Just, right you have to right, rack right. up the damage for the most part overall, right? Yeah. But if we look at their for the, sets... The non -fast the, the for the non-fast fallers, the flow. For the non-fast yeah. yeah they, I mean, Yoshi's can. a tank. That's right, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But so. for uh, the last sets that they've been playing, uh, the last set they played was at Apex 2022. Amsa won that 3-2. Okay. At Smash Summit 14, Amsa won that 3-1. And a double down 2022, Amsa won that 3 1 as well. So their last three meetings right. have gone Amsa's way. Amsa's way. And it was funny because before those tournaments, like, actually, there was a long period, relatively long period, of Zayn, um, who had already kind of established himself as one of the best players in the world, mm -hmm. um, kind of just, uh, you know, I would say having close games with Amsa, but mostly just sort of winning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pretty cleanly uh, by getting Amsa to 200 and then killing him with, you know, a Nair or something, right? right. So, what I think um, Amsa has going for him as the Yoshi in this matchup, Yoshi versus Marth, I think that this is a matchup where you have a clearer win condition uh, than Zane. Zane doesn't have a clear win condition besides just build up a lot of damage and then hit Yoshi with a strong move. Mm -hmm. But you know, if I'm if I'm Amsa here, you know, you you can get these strongs where like for example moves like down smash, down tilt at the ledge, they will send Marth very, very far, down tilt being percent independent, and uh, you can get these cheeky edge guards at like, you know, pretty low percents. Let's see Definitely. what happens here. Up oh my god. I so, thought actually grounded down B, down B grounded right? Grounded down B, exactly, yeah. It's stronger when it started up from the ground as opposed to in the air, right? So I thought that was gonna be the finisher there. But further to your point, I think just in general versus Yoshi, mm. I think you really have to have a solid game plan, and I think discipline is really the name of the game Absolutely. versus Yoshi Absolutely. in particular. If I you talk about like pl top players when they talk about the Yoshi matchup, it's more often more often than not, it's just that they have deviated from their game plan as the set has progressed. You can't right? deviate. We were just talking to Matt. I mean, you know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mango was uh, was was basically like ch chatting with us before top eight, saying that Ooh. he thinks you know he historically has been kind of relatively speaking weak for Sansa because against Yoshi you just have to stick to the game plan. You really do. And, you know, I think we all kind of know Mango's not a game plan kind of guy. He wants to freestyle. He wants to explore, you know, the expressiveness, sorry, the expressiveness that Melee gives you. Right. But not really against Yoshi. You do have to just kind of be the top tier and, and say, hey, my character's just better. Um, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat. And, and I uh, think you're Marth, have to deal with it. Marth definitely has the tools to do that type of gameplay, right? right. To do that kind of style. But it just takes discipline and patience over the course of a set, right? And I think the real difficulty in playing against Amsa in particular is that sometimes just Amsa will get one hit and blow you over. Blow you, yeah. It'll blow just be away. like 70, 80%, and you're just like, wow, I'm on right. stage. I didn't even expect all of this to happen in such a 
short amount of time. Right, Just right, right. the time right. of the, the combos are big. Oh, wow. and Uppy killing off the side at really low percent. Amsa might have been DIing away, trying to dash away. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, in melee, you know, if you're DIing away on a move like Up B, you can die at really low percents relative to your character mm -hmm. or relative to the matchup. That's the DI mix-ups, right? Because you might be comboing for a... Or you might be DIing for a combo as opposed to a KO finisher. Right. And so you're just going to DI super far away. Sometimes you're not even trying to DI. I mean, I'm sure that right. Amso was probably just trying to, like, dash away, you know? Right, right, Like, right. trying to get out of the situation entirely, but you got to be careful there. Wow, and a roll on the stage would have probably, you know, given Amso an edge hog, but he just does the normal stand. Yeah. Does not get the ledge turn up, but does clean up the edge, edge guard. Mm -hmm. Also got to really watch out for Yoshi on platforms holding shield. There's actually yeah, uh, talk to me about that. The the Golden Guardian segment that you did with Amsa where you and PP were learning Yoshi. I tried to forget about it. So. One of the one of the biggest things the, the first thing that Amsa taught both you and PP was to do shield drop into up air because of how strong Yoshi is on platforms holding shield. Well, I think PP did a very good job of it. I don't think I did. <laughs> I think you did a great job, man. You did Thanks, a great man. job. But yeah, Yoshi just has no shield stun, right? Very, yeah, very unique aspect. Very oh my aspect. goodness. Oh, oh Gets my two goodness. techs, doesn't get a third. And you gotta watch out for that down, that down smash too, right? Because Yoshi's down smash will just KO you at like 40% sometimes. Yeah, it's an extremely good edge guard. I mean, uh, I think for Amsa, like, you know, you're usually gonna be getting your kills, especially on Marth, has uh, just off the side or off the bottom right. from edge guards. Mm -hmm. And, um,. Oh, a little bit of a, a missed input there, I feel like. Or a little bit of a tech skill flip from Amsa's end, not grabbing the ledge after the up B, right? Yeah, Amsa definitely wanted to run off, throw the egg, and then grab the ledge from that. Exactly. Which would have allowed him to continue the edge guard. Exactly. But he didn't quite get enough running momentum, so he didn't actually fall onto the ledge. Mm -hmm. Amsa with the jab pressure, really good wave dash timing from Zane, calling out that Amsa would only go for one jab instead of a double jab, which probably would have caught that wave dash input. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes when Amsa's pressing her shields, it's actually very similar to the Falcon interaction, where Falcon goes for repeated jabs, maybe a gentleman on shield, but sometimes Falcon might cut it short, do two jabs and grab. Right. Very similar situation with uh, Yoshi. It's a little bit worse because Yoshi can only go for up to two jabs instead of three, like Falcon. Right. But otherwise very analogous. Oh my god, just that pressure. Wow. That was crazy. All of the all of the jabs that you were talking about, and then into the down smash there at the perfect timing. Actually, so crazy for Mamsa. Go Yo. ahead, dude, dude. Doing up air into that upward angle forward tilt. Yeah, and then immediately just double jump grabbing the ledge. Oh, this is huge. Down B, you already know, baby. That's what we're talking about in the end of the game one, right? That's right. That's just right. KOs at such relatively low percents when you do that grounded down B. Insane, bro. And now that now that Alms is repping the the Canada flag, this crowd is turnt. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's a, that's what was that? That's the BC flag. I know oh. country flags. I don't know. I don't know province flags. Right. That was crazy. I gotta really give props for going to up air in particular, and then doing the upward angle forward tilt. Up that's tilt. so crazy. Up tilt, yeah. So crazy to do that. Oh yes, yes. On the the left side there, the edge guarding there. Amsa is so good at mixing up what move he's going to hit you with. You feel like, okay, I've watched Amsa the last two tournaments. Right. But every time he comes to a tournament, he has like a whole new bag of tricks, as it feels like. So, can I can I talk about Dewan? <laughs> you can talk about can Dewan. Can I talk about Dewan? Of course you can. <laughs> so Dewan, oh, Dewan is here, Shroom, right? And we've been, you know, I don't know, we're getting Vancouver, beautiful city, a lot of nice restaurants. We're getting dinner and stuff, right? Duan has been telling us about the players he thinks are good True. and the players he thinks aren't good. And there are some top players in the world mm -hmm. that Duan has been around for a long time. Right. Is like, that guy's not that good, right? That guy's too flowchart. Doesn't do, you know, Duan's got a very high standard for what he considers. Sure. And for what it's worth, to Duan's credit, Duan said, I'm not even good. Right. You know, so he's really talking about the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. And I asked Duan, okay. Oh my God. What do you think about Amsa? And Duan was like, oh man. Duan was like, I don't know how to that like, because Amsa is such a, you know, we don't play Yoshi. Right, it's very, so it's, it's very hard to, hard to it's validate. It's hard to gauge, it's very hard to gauge. And Duan basically said, like, du like Amsa is, like, the things Amsa's good at, he's the best at. Right. Like, Amsa, and I totally feel that, like, there's some Genesis, metrics. There's some metrics there's where some Amsa metric is actually just un number one. Untouchable. Untouchable. I have seen the way this guy labs. Yeah. The way this guy basically explores the intricacies of, like, you know, frame data. 
This guy is like KGH 1.5 mm -hmm. on the labbing metric. Like, he's got so many setups, and he comes to every new Super Major with new setups in his bag. Definitely. And that's why these little optimizations in terms of like, oh, he went for upper angle forward tilt there when I thought he'd go for, you know, blank. Exactly. Like, he oh probably God. realized he should go for that like a couple days ago, straight up. Right, and I think also the, the nice part about that is that people are preparing for you. They're preparing for like the combo tree that you might have been doing yes. in prior sets. Yes. And if you come, you come out with just like a completely different, you know, just different Combo tools. game, yeah, neutral game. Exactly. You know, AMSA is, in, in, in my mind, one of the top players where he alters his game plan and like his combo trees and his neutral game strategies per matchup the most mm -hmm. from tournament to tournament. Yeah. You can watch him and you can find the moment in time he was like, I should grab more. You can find the moment in time oh he was God. like, I should react to tech chase more. Reaction I should tech chasing more. in particular, yes. right? He's really worked on. But dude, Opsa's up 2-0 and up in two stocks right and now. And he might 3-0 Zane, the number one ranked player in the world. That's right. And he gets the max leg grab, calls the jump out. Zane grab into neutral Floundering. What was that down or just mashing on the control stick like a like a child? Gets a forward smash, sends Yoshi nowhere because Yoshi's a tank. Gets Owen. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay. That was really nice. Using the forward smash to break the double jump armor, realizing that you have to do another hit after that. Goes for up B, gets right. the KO. Right, ends that stock in style, but he's at 89%. That's a tough spot oh, to be, and that's it. gets the perfectly timed ledge get-up attack to punch his way into winner's fight. Grand finals. Grand, Grand finals. finals. Grand finals. That was a that was a 3-0, Toph. That I thought we were in for a long game five down to the wire set. Each of the games set. felt that way, Vish. It does, yeah. That, I think the margins are just so small in Melee right now. That's what I've noticed the entire weekend. The margins in Melee are so small. And yet, Amsa staying ahead of the curve. A 3-0 But he's victory. not done yet. Definitely not, definitely not. You know I gotta, you know I gotta cheer for Amsa, my fellow Golden Guardian. Catch us on the GG Melee channel with the Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Hey. Doing, uh, doing it for Vancouver. Doing it for Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh, my goodness. British Columbia. British Columbia. Doing it for Canada. The most British of the Columbias. True. True, true. Let's get let's some see. replays. Yeah. Let's, let's see exactly what Amsa did. This was also very impressive. One Knowing more, all more, the one different more. Oh. camera angles. And one more. No, no, but, <laughs> no, but this was like some office level looking <laughs> at the cameras stuff. This is like gym level. <laughs> oh, there's another one where there's a different like camera angle and you looked at a different camera angle I, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super good. Oh my goodness. They say Omsa is the gym from the office of Melee. That's right, in terms of looking at the camera. Amazing. And really, you know, everything else. You know what's actually crazy about Zane that? Zane more of a Dwight. A little. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I was just... You know what's crazy about he's, a lot of he's these He's really replays? not. I just said that. Zane was like edge canceling the down airs, edge canceling the up bees, yeah. but Amsa still found the punish amidst all the edge cancels. Yeah, and I guarantee. So yeah, and the funny thing about that is, I feel like with a lot of you know top players, like often that's game sense. It's mm -hmm. like Zane's gonna go for, it, but I guarantee you with Amsa, oh like my God. he saw Zane go for that same, you know, edge mm -hmm. cancel or whatever it was, on some stream or YouTube video, some mm -hmm. match, and he like, you know, he made a mental note. That was a very conscious decision for Amsa. Dude, just the shield pressure that we saw amidst all those neutral airs. That's crazy. Yeah. Just so much pressure coming from Amsa. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that was a 3-0. I'm still kind of thinking about it how that was a 3-0. It feel like a 3-0 gameplay-wise, but know. yeah, I mean, that's kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's... Even that was so well-timed. So well-timed. To be Recognizing to that, and he kind of did it like a little bit early, like just in case Zane went onto the stage, then mm -hmm. he was going to be able to, you know, do do another nair, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take a look at the stats for that last set we just watched. Oh my God, the neutral wins, thirty to thirty. Dead even in terms Dead of neutral even. wins, but you know they say, and I was kind of, I was kind of saying this yesterday, commentating with Slime. Shoutouts, by the way, mm -hmm. love that dude. Um, a statistic that I think is incredibly important that I'm almost happy is not on this screen mm -hmm. because if it's on this screen, it's so centralizing that it's like the only stat you should even care about. Mm -hmm. Openings per kill, mm. right? Right. It's like I almost I, I I'd love to know what the openings per kill is per player, but I also almost don't want to know because like it is the only stat that actually 
right. kind of matters in a weird way. You know what I'm talking about, no, right? No, I think that makes a lot of sense, right? And I think especially versus a 